<laughs> Surprise! We're going live. Here we are. Hello, everyone. This is Amy Parson. I'm a holistic health coach. I love helping people with their overall health and to improve their gut health, especially. And I'm Mary Beasley with Your Family Herbalist. So I'm an herbalist and an aromatherapist, as well as Amy's sister. And I love herbs and oils and just sharing my knowledge with others to help empower them with their health. So today we're going to talk about something that's really important, something we're going to go over a little bit of what we've gone over before, but we're going to talk about minerals. And I specifically, so if you had to choose one thing at Longevity to buy, I would say minerals are probably it. There's different people saying different things, but minerals are so, so, so important. And one of those reasons is because they're cofactors for other things, right? They help us absorb other things. But today I want to specifically talk really quickly about selenium. Um, Dr. Wallach, who started Longevity, is a big, big proponent of selenium. And he also worked with um, Dr. Gerard Schauser, who also has studied selenium extensively. So selenium specifically um, has documented health claims with the FDA on selenium and specifically on cancer. And part of, so longevity was part of that um, coming about as well. So um, let me just read a couple of the things, a couple of the health claims. So there, and there is research on this that I can uh, post a couple of links that takes you directly to where this stuff is and links to um, the research. So uh, trials have shown that 200 um, MCGs of selenium can reduce breast cancer risk by 82% and reduce colon and rectal cancer risk by 69%, prostate cancer risk by 54%, and lung cancer risk by 39%. So I don't know about you, but those are some pretty like mind-blowing statistics. Um, so selenium is so, so, so important. Um, it's also a powerful, so it's a powerful antioxidant, right? And it cleans, what we say is it cleans your cells. So that's why it's so powerful. So it's helping all the gunk that is in there to get out. Like it's great for your immune system. It's an immune enhancer. And some things have shown that it's more potent than vitamins A, C, or E. It promotes soft tissue and connective tissue repair, and it's great for your eyes, your skin, your brain, your hair, your gums, your in, and your internal organ health. Like everything. It's great for everything. <laughs> um, it's also great for the production of glutathione, and it uh, helps promote a healthy thyroid. And, um, okay, sorry. I think that is it. So, end of story is, are you taking selenium? Because <laughs> if you're not, you should be. Selenium is so, so important and so good for us. So that's it. And selenium, isn't that the one, Amy, that Dr. Wallach got helped get into baby formula? Yes. <laughs> for yes. brain health so, and development. Longevity is also really, uh, feels really strongly that like, we need to get the word out to the world that these things are important. So they're constantly looking at ways that they can do that. And one of those ways is to petition the FDA for health claims on things like selenium. And so, yeah, that's one of the big ones. Um, so I just wanted to share that with my children, whenever they come and complain about some health issue, there's two things they know I'm going to say, like if they have a headache, they know I'm going to say, have you had enough water, go drink water. And then the second one is, have you had your minerals yet today? And my daughter, it's to the point in teen now, she just is, will roll her eyes every time I say it. I know, mom. <laughs> and, and now she'll even say sometimes, and no, I haven't taken my minerals when she'll share something with me. And um, so that's something that my kids are learning is how important the minerals are. And, you know, my daughter's an athlete, and so she's playing basketball and having hard workouts every day. And it's, I think, especially important for those that are super active, because as it is, a normal average person's not getting enough minerals, not enough selenium, not enough of any of those. And But then an athlete's sweating out minerals as well, and just drinking 
Gatorade or Powerade is not giving you anything <laughs> of value there to replace it. I mean, so she's, so I'm constantly telling her, you need to take more because you you need to take one that's going to replace what you're sweating out. And then you need to take more to build up. So we've seen a great difference with my son who has um, nosebleeds at nighttime. If he's taking his minerals, he doesn't seem to have those. And so they, they all kind of have their own testimony of, yes, I know the minerals will help. So mom is right. When she tells us, have you taken, when she asks us, have you taken your minerals yet? So I have a dog testimonial on minerals too. I, have a, I haven't shared that for a while. I'll probably share it a million times, but can you tell that we like harp on the same things over and over again? Cause we will, <laughs> <laughs> we have some soap boxes that we're going to stay on. <laughs> um, but I had our first dog had started coughing. And so I had never even heard a dog cough before. So I started doing research and I was thinking, oh, great. We're going to have this vet bill. You know, who even knows how we treat this like kennel cough stuff. And I was like, you know, we're just going to slip some minerals. I hadn't been giving her minerals like regularly or anything. So I'm like, I'm just going to throw some minerals in her food. Just, you know, as a little test within two days, her cough was totally gone. <laughs> and I was like, yes, no vet bill. <laughs> um, so there's my little dog testimony about minerals too, that dogs can benefit as well as humans. But like Mary said, we're all deficient. Like whether we have obvious symptoms or not, basically our belief is that everybody is deficient and minerals are a fantastic way to start because they're 60 of the 90. So they're really important and you only need a trace amount to replace things. But if you don't get that, over and over and over and over again for 40 years, then that can be a problem and it's going to cause problems in the future. So thanks for listening. We're going to keep yeah. it short today. We're hoping you have a great day. Anything else you want to say, Mary? Just going to say, if you have questions, come to us. If you want to know great sources of where to get those minerals, come to us. <laughs> awesome. Thank thanks you so everyone. much for watching. Have a good day.